Uh, hello, and we are live. I'm Arvin. I'm Julie. We're happy to have you here. So this is a whole new thing we're doing, uh, introducing some of our new products in a live setting. Um, I know we've done some videos in the past, which Annette's done. That's been great, but we figured, what the heck? Let's get it live. Let's give it to you. Let's play with them, and let's let's have you see what we've got in real time. In real time. So we know that some of you have actually seen this. Some of you actually They've have it in it. your hands yes. at home, enjoying every minute of it already. But those of you that haven't yet, we wanted to be able so that you know what you're buying and how it feels and just all the good stuff that goes along with knowing what by us touching it for you. And seeing so. all the colors that yeah. it's available in. So, yeah. so there's a whole new category of product for us, and I'm really excited. Um, it, it, it's called Wild, I'm, I'm sorry, Arctic. Lux Cuddle Arctic, and it comes in Rabbit, which is the solid. Mm -hmm. It comes in Fox, which is the two-tone. And then there's another baby coming, which is called Chinchilla, which we don't have yet. It'll be coming out in about a month or so. Um, so beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I love it. It's probably one of my favorite yeah. products I've ever felt so and seen. But it, it, th this whole concept has taken what we used to do in the past, which were the faux furs which were acrylic, they shed a lot, the backing wasn't soft, you know, not washable. Um, and we've basically reverse engineered them into a polyester. So you guys can enjoy the same look, a softer feel, more, you know, flexibility with, with washing, and, and of course, no shedding, and just which cuddling. is very important to just us. Just completely cuddly. Yes, it is softer, and, yeah. and, and it's, it's almost like our sable fur that we used to run way in the back on steroids yeah and so we're really excited and we're going to go through and kind of tell you the different colors it comes in and and kind of play with our hand i mean it, it is so plush and so mm -hmm. dense i mean look at this pile right here it's 30 millimeters of absolute goodness and it's also made in korea so you're going to have you know, this is our, our best of the best in terms of quality, in terms of color, fastness, in terms of everything that we do. That it, so it meets all those standards of all the Shannon products that you're used to. Um, and so I'm going to turn it over to Julie to go through the colors. I'm going to hold them up and you could talk about them. And Okay. All right. So this is natural, which, of course, it's somewhere between a white, a stark white, and an ivory shade. It's the perfect shade of natural. I, one of my personal favorites. It's a great decorating color. Great, great. And just to color. show you what the, you know, the pile, I mean, when you pass your hand, it's just silky smooth, just luscious, it has marshmallow -y. cool to the touch that everybody is looking for, that it's so soft, though, and so pillowy. And it just, I, we cannot emphasize enough how rich and deep the pile is. And it's just so soft and fluff. Beautiful. So that, that's natural. This is latte. and Champagne. Oh, sorry. Champagne. I'm sorry, Arvin. Champagne. And um, it's a beautiful shade of a beige. It's a true, true beige tone. But, of course, it's rich like champagne, right? Yes. Little extra bubbles in that for you. And, of course, the probably number one color in everything that we do is rose water. And I know rose water doesn't always photograph perfectly, but it is the perfect shade of rose water. Where you can just see the pile here. Yeah, look at that. Look at the little. Just... Yeah, isn't that great? Gosh, it's that's just so beautiful. soft, silky, I can't smooth. say it enough times. It's one of those things that when you've got it sitting on your lap, you can't do anything but just pet and run your fingers. You just want to run your fingers through it constantly. That feeling that you get when you just can feel it, the fibers moving through your hands. Oh, and of course, my first test when we get anything new is the pull test. I go to the pile, I pull on the pile, and I'm like, okay, do I get any fuzz or not? And if we don't get any fuzz, we move forward. If we get... One or two hairs, we talk to them and we move forward. But if you get, there's some stuff on the market. You just put your hand and you get like a whole fuzzball. Or you run your hand across it and you turn it over and your hand's covered in fur or your leggings, your black leggings no longer are black. Those kinds of things. That's unacceptable. And right. so we always go back to the drawing board and have the mill work on it to correct anything that looks even like it's going to shed. So we're really anti-shed here. Now, this color is called Bayou. You've, you've seen a little bit of it, and some of you have it, some of you love it. Um, I'm gonna say, if you're on the fence about which color to buy first, and you're leaning even sort of towards the Bayou, 
my goodness, it is probably the richest color in the palette for me. I think it's so beautiful and so deep. It's the one to go for. It's a jewel tone. It, it, it's, it is, it's pretty. It's, it's beautiful. It's deep and gorgeous. It's, it's, just, it's gorgeous. just Can't you know, say enough about it. Looks really, really lush and beautiful. And the color is just deep, gorgeous, and rich. Love it. Love it. And of course, the oh so popular um, Cardinal. And we, we love Cardinal. Cardinal's, you know, just a little bit richer than a Scarlet is. It's a little tiny bit deeper. It just has that beauty that um, only a, a, like a Christmas red can provide. And love and, Cardinal. And the backing on this is super duper duper soft and flexible. So for sewing purposes, I mean, I'm not a sewist. You are. Yeah. How much easier does Actually, it make? Actually, this is going to be really easy to sew. When I say really easy for a, a skilled seamstress, this is going to be easy because you can flatten this down to very flat as you're sewing because it's not forcing the fibers back up again. You know, like um, some people have asked, is it like sable? It is not like sable. Sable, it, it has a little firmer hand to it on the backing and the fibers are a little stronger when you push on them. This is going to be different. Your seamstresses are not going to fuss about it and you as a seamstress are going to have an easy time. Again, you'll just encapsulate those fibers inside, how easy that was for me to push those in. So as you're sewing, they'll just push them in. And hopefully when they turn it over, the fibers are just going to pop out and not have to do a lot of brushing. But if you do, it comes out easy. Next color. This is called Sunkissed. And so it, it is officially, it's a neon, but it's a light or a paler neon. It's not as intense as some of them, but it's a really cool color. It's, it's been a, a popular color. Yeah, it's and it's super cool for the kids. The kids are loving, loving it, but uh, sometimes it's the big kids that love it the most. All right, so this is a, a familiar favorite. It's called Plum Wine, and oh, look at that, you guys. Oof, mm. oof, oof, gosh. So yeah. Plum Wine, you know, you know how delicious Plum Wine is with rose water. We love those two together. We love Plum Wine, of course, with the ivory, and of course, with black. It's just so pretty. So Plum Wine's a, a, a family favorite. Ginger, we love ginger, and of course, with fall coming, ginger's gonna be uh, a highly in-demand color. I just think it's really, really beautiful. And then our tried and a true chocolate, which is not our deepest brown, but it is the one that goes between brown and espresso. So it's the perfect shade Medium of shade. chocolate. Yeah. Yep. Dark chocolate. Yep. And then black. You know, of course, uh, always the number the, one. The number selling. one seller, uh, despite what everybody wants to believe, number one is always black. But Gosh, how can you go wrong with black? Just how can you go wrong? Look, look, uh, Jeremy is behind the camera here for us. And just look at that when it's all, oh, you guys. It's so, it's got a little shine to it. That's just right and not too much. And, and brushing, the hand feel is just unbelievable. Yeah, the mill has gone out of their way to brush these perfectly. So this is navy blue, just tried and true navy blue. So. And I've got this going sideways, so you can see, you can really not tell the direction of the pile, no matter which way you brush this thing, it feels amazing, yeah. because some of these plush fabrics, when you go up, you know, against the grain, it just ripples and creates this tiger mark effect, which what, what is what they call it from our mills. And, and so we work really hard. So again, it's all about brushing, finishing. This goes through four different processes to get this soft after it's dyed to the the washing the brushing the polishing all that the, the good stuff to just create this amazing non-directional pile almost so it wants to stand up more than lay down and you know when arvin refers to tiger marks tiger marks are those marks that when you go backwards on the pile it goes up, 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 kind of and it makes and that your hand stops creation of line that's a tiger mark and, and that's we need to brush better when it's getting tiger marks all right, and this is sea glass. You know, um, some people call it salt water sometimes, but it's really sea glass. Sea glass has a teeny bit more of a grayish tone underneath it, but it's still clear. Please don't get me wrong. It's just not as bright as... as pretty uh, shade. Yeah, it's a really pretty shade, but I think most importantly, it's for the home deck world. Yes. It just looks better than salt water does because it just has that... It's a little just, softer. Yeah, it's just really great. Really oh, great you color. You made a heart. I did make a heart because I do love it. Yeah, there you go. And then tried and true silver. It's, it's, our, it's our traditional silver color, which I think is um, super important to have in every line. Also shape. probably one of the top colors for it the is. last five years. It silver, is. navy, it, black. I mean. And hide, and hide that's the, the silver. In, is, in anything. Is, yeah. And, and then that's what, number one or number two item number in the two. whole line? Yeah, because of course, caviar. Yes. Caviar hide, the number one. Yeah. 
Okay. So we've made, we've brought you the best of the best colors. And we're going to be adding to this, of course, because there's already been an amazing response to it. Everyone who's played with it, touched it, um, is, is basically in love with it. And they've said, when are you coming out with new colors? So just be patient for new colors. We've got these colors out now. I think there's 14 in the solid, which yeah. this is the last one, graphite, yep. uh, which is also an amazing seller. And we're going to be adding new ones to it. We're going to expand the line. And, and I know it's summertime. This is a little heavier and people are a little nervous. Oh, it's too hot. But you know what? The truth is, who sits in the hot? Yeah. Everyone's in an air conditioned room. So it's the feel, it's the touch. You got, I mean, it, this stuff is just, if you haven't been cuddleized yet, this is going to do it. This is going to cuddleize you because it's. Not forget about or, pets. Can you imagine oh my God. getting up and sitting in the middle? They're not going to want to leave the bed. Yeah. So, forget I mean, that. as you see, this is a pile of 14 layers and it just, you, you can just see how, you know, beautiful and just. You want to jump in it. Fluffy it is. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to. I'm going to take this off and we're going to, I'm going to, before we go into introducing the Fox, there's been some, you know, concerns or questions about how does Arctic compare to Shag? And so I want you to see when you, when you put the two next side by side, you could totally see that this is almost double the volume and in, in height of the Shag. Now the Shag is a beautiful product. It's just meant to be a lighter weight item it is a little bit longer it's longer than 30 so it's about 40 millimeters this is 30 millimeters so if you put the pile side by side you can see that shag is longer arctic is shorter but shag is way denser it's about twice the weight almost no. right this i mean uh sorry arctic is twice the weight than shag that was a mistake but it is this is about 10 15 millimeters longer it's made to be more of a flowy piece beautiful you know it's still an amazing hand feel feels great but this next to that i mean you know this is a big daddy if, if there's you no go, doubt about that if you go side by side you can't tell you know there, there is really no comparison in and, terms of the volume in terms of the feel they're both soft but this is just more fluffy and just silkier so i, I do want you to know that we didn't intend for those to be even related to one another when we designed it. We intended for this to be a whole new item. So that's how the difference is called Arctic. So just remember when you hear the word Arctic attached to it, you know that that means that it is the, the 30 millimeter and the super fluff deep pile. Well, today the three items are 30 millimeters. We might, I mean, we might yeah, deviate from the pile and do a 20 millimeter, but it just, it's a fluffier, denser, softer, silkier version of anything we've ever had. So yeah. next we're going to move into the Fox um, and we're going to start with the first which, one. Which you haven't seen these yet. So, um, uh, yeah, they haven't shipped yet. No, they haven't, they're not. not in the world. Yeah. They're coming next week. So they're going to be shipping out to you guys next week for those of you who have orders on them. And I want to show the intensity of the, the two tone. So it is kind of similar concept of the shag in terms of it's a tipping, right? But again, it's a way, uh, thicker and heavier pile in terms of weight mm -hmm. and it's denser and it's just fluffier um, and in my opinion I just think that it's it's just they're not the same thing. yeah it's, it's just this is what I would buy for my house because it's just the silkiness that I like um, before this my favorite was the wild rabbit so now it's like I think the the Arctic chinchilla will probably be my new favorite yeah. till the new stuff comes out. We got so many cool new stuff coming out. I mean, just look out, look out for the Arctic stuff that's coming out. Look out for it. We got another one called Mesa that's yeah. amazing coming out. Vienna, you guys, a lot of you have already ordered it. We're gonna do a, a live show on that one next week. Right. That that is her favorite my, now, hands, hands down. down. And it's also my favorite in a way because it's different, right? This is. It's got a more home decor -y kind of a, uh, just a more high-end, uh, how well, do you I'm, say I'm going to say my home decor is going to be covered in it because yes. I can't stand how much I love it. I, I just, Vienna is my, my cat's meow. Okay, so. so. While we still have this one, I want you to put your hand so you can kind of see the pile, like wrap around the hand and you can. Like, yeah, I mean, it is. Different. It's the same exact as rabbit, except for that it's tipped. It's two-toned. Yes. Yeah, it's, tip. t it's top, top tipped. Top um, yeah, and it's there's eleven colors in this, and we are missing two today, so we just don't have the two to show you. But we do have a bunch of great representations here, and so this is cloudburst. So it's a very silvery tone on the ends oh, with we'll a white right with a white tip underneath. 
And so, and, and this is exactly the same methodology. It's just sandstone. So it has a beigey tone on the end of it. Look how fluffy that is. So our, our intent for you was to be able to kind of match up some of the solid rabbits to go with these so that they could go back to back and just be some really beautiful combinations. And so this is French roast. As you can see that um, I, some of you may know that there's a new color called autumn in Vienna. And that's what the underbelly of this is, is it's intended to be the autumn and then um, the black tips on the end of it. And remember sometimes um, when you, it's not a perfect match to autumn because they're, these, these things are discharged. Right. They're not something that they just dye them and that's the way that they are. So they have less control over the tone of them, but they're flavored like an autumn. So and, they're gonna be really pretty And also we wanna point out, they're not always gonna be perfectly even. You're gonna have some hairs that maybe don't have as much, you know, but they look natural. Tipping. They look, you know, as much of the tipping, but they look natural. They look beautiful. And, and they're, this is the way they're intended to be. And also, depending on how you brush it. So, right, you see, if I brush here, you could see the, the under pile. So, it's, it's, it's just meant to be as close to a realistic animal as possible. That's what I was going to say. Is Can you imagine how cute this would be in a stuffed bear? My goodness. Wouldn't that just be the best stuffed bear ever? Or, or a moose or something else. I mean, I just think the stuffed, the potential for stuffed animals in this is just unbelievable. Yeah, why don't we switch sides okay, so well, we can grab yeah, these, so you other can get these other ones. Yep. So we're calling this one Burgundy. It, it has a flair of Merlot, but we called it Burgundy because it's not a perfect match. But I loved it. I just loved it. This one was gorgeous. This, this is Lagoon. Yeah, how can it not be? You know, it's that color combination. We've got other things in Lagoon and it's the same. It's just so great. It makes me think of vacation it when does. i see this color and, and when you, know? you hear the word lagoon right <laughs> yeah and, and then our tried and true chambray which is like a bluebell on the top and a navy blue on the bottom but we call that chambray we have chambray and lots of other things and they go pretty well together you can mix and match and again look they they they're not going to match 100 percent because depending on the the pile length depending on the processes that they go through they might have a slight difference but they're related in color they could definitely be put together stripped together in a blanket. Mm. I mean, that just looks beautiful so together. together. It just looks so good. Yeah. Sometimes things go the way you intend, right? Yep. Love potion because it's cerise on top and navy black, I mean, sorry, black, black, black on the bottom. But it's just that hot pink, the hot pink tips on it. But the hot pink cools down when you put the black underbelly. And, and the so black just, underneath is not really a dark black. It's a faded black. So so don't think it's like super stark and like in your face. It's almost like a ash color, yeah. right? So because when you these go through a discharge process, it, it strips the paint, the, the, the dye, mm -hmm. and then they, they tip it with, with the new tipping color. So it's, it's an intense process, and it kind of strips away the the uh the bottom color so the bottom color never comes out as dark as we intend so this started as like chocolate but it's a little lighter than chocolate which is called what now frappe frappe, frappe. you all have had a frappe probably and that's exactly Did you what have it your looks frappe like. today it's close okay I had, mine <laughs> you... wasn't blended mine was liquid today <laughs> okay i haven't had mine either i just had a black coffee <laughs> and then the last but not least in the group that we have is moonbeam right and uh we are missing black coffee and sangria correct and, and and of course black coffee is going to be um it's even a darker version so it's even more bear like and so it's got black tips on it and it has a chocolate the underneath base to it. is darker yeah, yeah it is and then sangria of course you've seen lots of times in uh, mainly uh heather you've seen it and it's the merlot version of it so remember there was the the burgundy down here it's different because it's really two shades of the red tones. And this is a black underbase or the, the um, ash underbase with a Merlotish top. So I think we're done. I think we are. We went Evan. through the piles. We showed the difference. I think we are. This was a great first product live. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you tune back in next week to see Vienna, her favorite. My favorite. And so you know, one of the things we were doing this for is so that you could understand when you're trying to buy and decide how to spend your money, we know it's a hard decision. And so we would love it if we can share just a little bit about it. So because as, as the actual inventors or the buyers of the product, we created these things and we work with the mill 
to make sure that the mill gets them just the way that you've asked for and that we know is the right thing to do. So we want you to spend your money and know what you're getting. And so that's what we're kind of hoping that these videos right. do. I mean, if it's up to me, I would all. buy them all. Yeah. <laughs> and she used to buy them all, which she was a customer of ours long, long ago. Uh, but, but honestly, I think, look, you can't go wrong. You know, yes, of course, you have to work within your budgets. But these things are going to fly off your shelf. Or if you're as a consumer watching us today, thank you for showing, showing up. I'm sure you're, you'll get your hands on some finished products and you're just going to love this stuff. Uh, again, the new stuff coming out are unbelievable. The Vienna is already here. We got Sydney coming in. We got Walt Chinchilla coming in. We've got the new, the Milans that are here, yeah. you know, the Clouded Leopard, yeah. the Dolce. I mean, there's so many cool stuff either here or arriving in the next 30 days. I'm just beside myself. And that's so, why we had to do this. So yeah. the next four weeks, you're going to week by week, you're going to see some new things that we're going to show you that we're super excited about and just want to share the love with you. All right. Well, thanks for joining, thanks for joining us. God bless you all. And we'll, we'll see, see you next week. week.